It's been the, one of the worst days for about six months, I think, today. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Hello and welcome to another episode of Airline UK Freakouts on Arthur TV. One of the most ridiculous things said by a passenger in this entire series comes from this first clip. And today we're looking at the full group freakout that followed it. So first up, we're in Luton on a bank holiday weekend where a backlog of delays is making an already busy day even tougher for the EasyJet staff. Over in departures, legendary duty manager Jane Bolton is dealing with delayed passengers awaiting the Paris flight. The aircraft has a technical fault and the passengers are not happy about it. This is appalling. I've been waiting three hours to go to a simple flight to Paris. We are here on your side. We are trying to get as much information and get you out of here as soon as we can. As soon as we have something that is concrete and might give you that information, but I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say that you are definitely going in 15 minutes. Can you tell me what the technical fault is? Because my husband's an engineer. <laughs> and there it is. There's over two hours of Divi saying dumb things in airports on this channel and I still genuinely don't think anything comes close to this level of delusion. How the staff didn't burst out laughing, I will never know. I don't know what it takes. Can you find out? They won't tell us. Engineers will never tell us what it's taking for points. Well, the Paris flight's been delayed. It, uh, yeah. Operations, obviously, we've got a few tech aircraft today, but operations keep changing the aircraft every half an hour or so, and you know, the times, the estimated time of departures have been given out to everyone keep changing, and it, I know it's something that has to be done by operations, so there's nothing we can do about it, but it makes us look so bloody unprofessional, and you can understand their frustration, and we want them to go as much as they want to, especially now. Meanwhile, over in Belfast, it's all systems go for team leader Edith McNeil. Sorry, sir. Glasgow. Is it finished? Not a mission, I'll sir. Absolutely not. You just got to trap me. You're going to trap me. I am sorry, sir, but there's, there's no way you're going to get on the flight. Absolutely not. Oh, come on. The flight, sir, it's fully boarded. There's no way you're going to get on the flight. I am sorry, but there's absolutely no way you're going to get on the flight to Glasgow. Are you Glasgow as well? Yeah. The flight is fully boarded. There is no way you're going to get on the flight. Absolutely not. Why are we supposed to go home? Sir, I'm sorry, you'll not get home tonight. It'll be tomorrow before you'll get home. It's pretty rare on this series that you see someone turn up late and then just walk away when they're told they can't get on the flight. But if they're turning up too late to check in, it should come as no surprise when EasyJet turned them away at the check-in desk. Back in Luton, however, the flight's delay is on EasyJet and the passengers are understandably growing more frustrated as the flight time is pushed back even further. We've arrived to catch a flight, an EasyJet flight to Paris at 15.10 and uh, the plane that we were told at one point it was going to be at 10 to 5, that's when we first arrived, and then they keep uh, delaying it. Basically a flight then, the delayed flight we were going to have, the plane landed and they appropriated it for another uh, destination. So they've moved us on, then they said oh we were going to have a flight to leave at 6 o'clock, now it turns out the flight we were going to have hasn't even left Gatwick. Because it's got a technical I have just been reliably informed that your aircraft is now serviceable and it's due to leave that week any second, which will take about 25 minutes to get here. Okay. If the day goes over four hours, you get a full refund for your flight anyway. Do we? Oh, yes. So they're, they were very keen to make sure it stayed just under the four hours. No, we're otherwise, no, no, that's, no, that's not the case. We're trying to get you out. I mean, would you rather we kept you waiting or would we rather? No. No, I don't want to be kept waiting well, at all. Well, then we'll try and get you there as soon as we can. Yeah, okay. Okay. So if they don't want to refund the entire um, flight, all their um, fares, then they've got to make sure we're, we've left before 20 past seven. Damn easy jet and their notoriously high prices. Because if you don't explain me, So they've yeah. really got to pull their socks out, haven't they? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise it's going to be very expensive for them. <laughs> So five minutes late, nice. You must be joking. There's lots of traffic. It took us two hours yeah. to come here. Attention is half an hour late. It's nowhere to come. Back at the front desk, some unhappy French passengers have missed check-in, and Kojo's on the receiving end. From where? Yeah. No, we, ne we need to take this one. Can you call a manager? Can you call someone? We're going to a wedding. If you take five minutes to give some calls, that's why it's five minutes to lose to go to board the plane. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I don't want to be rude, but... We're going to Geneva for a wedding, so we have to be in Geneva. We have to leave London now, and the only option is to, to go to Gatwick and take another flight, and we don't want to take another flight for just five minutes. And the flight 
doesn't take off. The, the fly from take off in like half an hour, so he's still here. That's it. I do sometimes feel quite sorry for the people who miss checking by only a few minutes, but at the same time, if they've got an important flight to get to like these guys do with a wedding, why are they leaving so little time to spare that not unexpected delays like heavy traffic mean that they arrive too late to the airport? Makes the confusion of your mum waking you up at 4am for your evening flight as a kid all start to make sense. Anyway, despite Jane's best efforts, the Paris flight is now four hours late, meaning that the passengers now qualify for a full refund. A replacement plane has been drafted into Gatwick, but the passengers are demanding to know why their flight has been put back once again. Why have we been delaying it right. half an hour, every hour. half an hour? Right. I mean, how can you okay. do that? Right. Okay. You just said it was on the ground. Yeah, yeah, the... But now you say estimated at 7.30. How can you do that? Do you actually know what you're doing? I do know what I'm doing. Right. I, don't sure? think, I don't think Shame. you do. I mean, how can, you, how can you delay it? You told us it was on the ground just now. Yeah, and now it's here. Yeah, but well, why has it gone back to 7.30? You must give us a service. If you want we me are to customer. Right. Can we have our money back now? You can get your money back, but you need to write into EasyJet. I didn't have plane. to write to you to pay for it. Oh God, on second thoughts, never mind. Better off ignoring that one. Can I finish my call? No, well, I, I, I thought... Do you, want to, do you want me to find I out I thought, I thought, yeah, or not? I thought you, I thought you never got ruffled. You... I was told crew are coming now out of the crew office. Now I'm being told the crew are not here. And I want to know why. Well, can you ask the supervisor? And they're calling me back. You don't know what you're doing. What are you calling me back? I'm not expecting to have a letter. What are you asking? Come on now. It's not our opinion. It's obvious. You didn't know that it had moved to 7.30, so you obviously don't know what you're doing. We just we just call you because yeah. um, they refuse the we need to take this man. We're going to wedding. Back at the check-in desk, the wedding guests are making a last-minute plea to Supervisor Sam Jones. We really okay. need to take this flight. We have no choice. Okay. We're going to the wedding. Safe. With the Geneva flight already boarding, she's their only hope. It's already boarding. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks for checking anyway. Bye bye. Unfortunately, can't get you onto it. It is no, too late. Not. All we can do is transfer you onto the six o'clock. It's yeah. six, five past six flight. But the later flight is no good. It would mean missing the wedding. We can't go to gate now. Yeah, we can we do need to go to the wedding. Mm. We've been, we've, we've been here. We've just arrived five minutes mm. after the, the check-in. Unfortunately, and this it's is not too normal late. because we've been waiting nearly twenty minutes here to see you. So mm. twenty I, minutes. I, I don't think it's normal. Yeah. Yeah. Twelve here waiting. So you have to see the customer manager. So we've been waiting here for twenty minutes. So it's been twenty minutes. We're going to okay. miss our train. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. There's nothing more we can do apart from transferring you on to the next available flight. So they hit a dead end. Their only option now is a mad dash across London to Gatwick, over 70 miles away. We have no choice but to go to Gatwick to get the, no the other flights. So we're, transfer we're transferred to Gatwick now and we're going to take a flight in Gatwick. So we'll be late, but at least we'll be in Geneva tonight. Thanks. After four hours, Jane Bolton has finally found a plane for Paris. Now all she needs is a crew to fly it. Listen, I've got. Thank you. Which one is Cheers. it? Bye. The Paris. Clear on the way. Clear on the way. Clear on the way. Oh, I've just been told to clear on the way. Clear on the way. Yes, so was I. Okay. I've just found operations. They mix those so your crew are well, on their way now. The right, let's get the passengers to the gate, can we? Gate number five, yes. Yeah. Oh, I need a phone call. <laughs> and a cigarette. <laughs> At last, a boarding gate has been announced for Paris, but Jane isn't out of the woods yet. Who's in charge of the crew today? It's now getting quite ridiculous. It's going out and out. You're telling us it's on the ground. This is not funny. Get me an update and call me back as soon as possible. They can't actually, they can't find the crew at the minute. They're trying to, they're looking for them to find where they are. I don't know where they're coming from, so I'm going to speak to him to find out where they are first, to try and find out how long it's going to be taking to get to the aircraft. Oh, I got told they was on their way to the aircraft and it would be five minutes. Now I'm getting told something completely different. They can't even find the crew, so I'm trying to find out where are they actually. Where are the crazy, where are the crew for... I wish I could tell you that. 
Given we've spent most of the series so far laughing at passengers who have been delayed through their own fault, I think it would be unfair to not comment on EasyJet here. I mean, I'm sure there's not much more they can do to prevent technical faults, but the way it's affected their operations here is absolutely shambolic, and I genuinely do not judge any of the passengers for getting mad about it. Speaking of passengers who have turned up too late to check in, they might have missed the Glasgow flight, but Paul Connolly has got a plan. Yeah, we'll get you on the Edinburgh, sir. Oh, on the Edinburgh, can extra? Sorry? Can I pay extra? No, it's okay, sir. Right, thank you. Put them on the Edinburgh, please, if right. you can. Right, okay. There's well, three. Hold away. How many of you are there? Three. Three. Where are they, sir? You need to get them to come straight over Emma, the sales. Quick, 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 Garth, there's three more here, a male and two females with, um, two bags. Aye, right, the, the three bags, you have three bags. Three bags. Aye, you're diamonds, you're diamonds. OK, I'll explain that to them. OK, he's asked me to tell you, he'll only take you if you can get to the gate. If you can't get to the gate, we'll go without you. Right, right, right. Yeah, you got it, right. Sir, we have to get you transferred first, OK? Hello, Mum. Right, we'll be Edinburgh. We've missed, we've missed the flight, so we'll be Edinburgh. Okay, we'll be Edinburgh. Need somebody to take picture of Edinburgh. I don't know, just get somebody to pick me up for Embra, for Christ's sake, will you? Can I ask you why you were late to the airport? Wait, wait, wait. Cos <laughs> the boy that picked us up was said. <laughs> That's why we're not. The boy picked up, the time it was late. Just caught in traffic, just caught in traffic. Okay. And by the way, hey, this is my two birds, by the way, hey. Um, just <laughs> we're, going to for, like, we're going to Scotland for Hogman AM, I just want to go home and... Just party. I, I hate no, I hate her about ten, uh, ten minutes ago. I hate her. She now she's a diamond. <laughs> I can't get the tag to work. <laughs> Is it just me, or does it seem like Edith has a bit of a thing for Paul? What is actually going on here? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Happy you, darling. All right. All, All the best. best. Mm. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Right, well, whatever just happened there, it seems like everyone was having a bloody good time. Unfortunately, spirits aren't quite as high for the group still waiting on the Paris flight. Somehow, the crew for the flight have vanished. Maybe Jane could ask if anyone has a spouse that can fly a plane. For four hours plus, we've been waiting. Well, it just carries on the same thing as it was before, really. I mean, just, just a little bit further on. At 7.30pm, four and a half hours after the flight was due to leave, Jane has had enough. Hey, Ian. Take your passengers to gate 16. Use the aircraft and the crew that's on stand seven. I'm not waiting for operations anymore to make a decision. You go and I'll change it all. Cheers. 16. Stand seven, gate 16. Take the passengers with you and let's just board them onto that one. <laughs> Follow these guys to gate 16. We're going to use somebody else's aircraft and somebody else's crew. I've, um, I've, ju I've just stolen somebody else's aircraft and somebody else's crew because I got sick of waiting on the phone, so um, I've made a decision to steal the aircraft. I'll probably get in very bad trouble tomorrow, but tough. <laughs> Four hours wait. Jane's ruthlessness has paid off and the passengers are now finally on their way. It's been one of the worst days for about six months, I think, today. You know what my niece said to me? She said, why is it called EasyJet, Trudy? from an eight-year-old child. I'm angry. And there I was, thinking we were going to have an entire episode without an easy jet, hard jet joke. Oh, a man can dream, though. A man can dream. Anyway, that is unfortunately all we have time for today, so make sure you subscribe because there's more on the way very soon. Until then, feel free to come say hi on Instagram or Twitter and the links to them will be down below. Thank you for watching today and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.